G'day! Greg here. Now, I wasn't going to make a video today, but oh, mate, you, you talked me into it. <laughs> and it is, well, it's just gone 3 o'clock actually. And well, I've just got home. I went to the optometrist today and got some, uh, yeah, well, I did the test for glasses. It's going to take two to three weeks before I get them. Uh, lucky I've still got a few pairs. Uh, my eyesight's got worse just quietly. But um, I did uh, the live one video yesterday and, well, got a, I mean, like all these people like Christopher and Blue Ribbon, HSVJ and Check H and Paul Styles and Miss Budgery Boo Conker and Dave and all these other ones. Uh, thank you very much for your donations. And, um, well, Christopher said that um, he gave me a nice donation to go and get myself some, well, I ran out of my Jack Daniels. Remember? I ran out. And he said he gave me some money to go and get some more. And I decided I'd try something a little bit different. And uh, got some hogs three. I looked at all. I was standing in the in the dance and just going through all the uh, well, all, the, all the reviews on everything. And that one got a pretty good one. So I thought, well, Jack always tends to have that strong aftertaste. And then to, in the, the morning after, it's still there. <laughs> so I thought I'd try that one and see what it was like. But today... Today's review was, uh, it was a little while ago, I got a, a beer fund donation, and uh, it was from, uh, oh God, you think I'd be prepared? When, name once where I've ever been prepared. <laughs> I'm sure I was once. Uh, oh, Nicholas Campbell. Nicholas Campbell, he asked if I could do a Pilsener Urkel, so today I'm going to give the Czech beer, the Pilsner Urkel, a crack, and see what this is like. I'm not sure if I've even had one of these before. And if I have, it would have been a long time ago. Now, it's 4.4% and, well, it's brewed and bottled in Czechoslovakia. And it's a recipe that's like 170 something years old and they've been making it the same ever since. In fact, I think it was the first Pilsner that was ever made and from from this one here, it, it just kept growing bigger and bigger and became one of the most popular beers ever. So the guy who invented this, absolute legend. So we're gonna give one of these a crack today and we'll see what it's like. I wasn't gonna have a beer today and I was like, ah. Oh. And then I was walking past Brian's house and he's out there having one and I smelt it and I was like, ooh. Because I went for like a, a, about a six or seven kilometre walk today. So I was feeling a bit thirsty. I've had a big glass of water, but now it's time for the, the daddy's water. Oh, straight away. Wow, I could smell this from here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it smells like really yeasty. Mmm, it smells like bread. Just like raw dough or something, raw pizza dough. Mmm, I'd love some pizza. Did you see my video today on how to cook a piece of pizza in the uh, in the air fryer? Well, it comes in very handy. I tell you what, I've been using that one for quite a while now. I just slice off a little piece of pizza, whack it in the air fryer, and away you go. Six minutes or so later, boof. Oh, that smells real nice. That's just a nice colour too. Have a look at that. The Pilsner Urkel. The Czechs, mate. I'm pretty sure they know how to make beer. I love these European countries that are just... Well, just any country, really, that, you know, dedicates uh, so much time and effort into producing a golden, beautiful beer. Ale, lager, whatever, Pilsner. Mmm. Oh. That smells really tasty. It's got that classic European smell, I reckon. Ah, get in me. Wow, it's got a really strong taste. I mean, for 4.4%, like straight away, it's just a really strong taste. Like a, a full bodied taste, you know, it's got that a nice bit of malt and the hops that really just, you know, kick in on your tongue. 
like sipping it, it feels like the hops are going to tear your taste buds off. And then it's got that, it hasn't got that real strong European taste, which I find with a lot of beers, but it's, it's there. It's got that, just that taste. Actually, it tastes, uh, oh, well, I'll, I'll show you another day. <laughs> a beer that's got the uh, real taste. But uh, I mean, this one here, yeah, it's nice. It's got a, a really strong taste. It's got a bit of a lingering hop and the hops now has gone to like the roof of my mouth. And um, yeah, it sort of went from the front of my tongue to over my tongue. Now it's gone to the roof of my mouth. It's just like sitting there and just going, it's like he's it's sitting there on a, a deck chair, just relaxing up there. <laughs> Mm. No, this is um, this is tasty. It's a really nice blend. I think it's it's more hoppy than malty, but um, the the flavour is there. I'm I'm really enjoying it. It's just that real full strength. Like, and for a four point four, mate, this is a solid beer for a four point four. Wow. Hmm. Mate, seriously, if I had a six pack of this, I could smash it. Smash it hard too. I'd be all over it. So easy to drink. And it's, it's just got this really great flavor with the hoppy aftertaste, mate. If you, if you like your slightly hoppier beers, mate, this one is an absolute beauty and I'm really enjoying it. And it tastes fantastic. Oh, mate, the pills are <laughs> kill. The checks, mm -mm. yeah, my heart. In Pilsen, Pilsen, ah, oh, Pilsen, Pilsen. Wow, that is nice. Wow, I can't wait to get my new glasses so I can read this sort of stuff. That'd be awesome when that happens. I wonder what the punters say about this day. Ah, oh, personally, I think this one, well, uh, it's it's very nice flavors, very full flavored, and it'd be definitely one I'd be getting again as as well. It's really tasty, really full strength tasting, great color, it's nice cold, and it's got that little bit less alcohol in case you were you know wanted to maybe have a little bit more than say six, <laughs> but I think six would do me just fine. Oh yeah. Now, what would I give it? I reckon, uh, well, this one here, really nice. I'm really enjoying it. I reckon this one would be, oh, it'd be a four mark. Maybe I should start doing these things out of 10. Because, you know, oh no, it's, I can always halve it. The app's in, uh, in for out of five, so I gotta go by that. I'm really enjoying it. This is really tasty. And I definitely get this again. Uh, it might be a little bit too hoppy for me, but, and you know I'm not that into the hoppy stuff, but this, uh, the hops in this is great. And the, now that it's sort of dissipating, uh, it's sort of leaving a little bit of a sweetness there on my tongue too, yeah. Man, this would be great with pizza. Mmm. Yeah, okay. I'm getting this again. This one I would give a four out of a five stars, I reckon. If not, a 4.25. I'll decide a little bit later, but mate, this one is a really good beer. It's really tasty. It's getting a 4.25. I've made up my mind. I mean, I'm a high scorer. But I'm also a low scorer when I drink absolute crap, which most of the times I tend to drink. So to find a beer that actually tastes really nice, um, it's really nice. It's a really nice change. And the Pilsen Urquell, definitely one that I would be getting again. Really enjoying it. Okay, so I went 4.25. Let's see what the others think. Uh, whoa. Well, uh, the friends on here are only giving it a 2.75. You gotta be kidding me. And the average score is a 3.35. Hmm. 
What's wrong with these people? Are they... What, what are they saying that can't be... That's so bad? What, how can it be that bad that they're not even giving it a decent score? That's ridiculous. Ah, how do I even get away from this? Ah, oh, here we go. Right. Well, someone gave it a four, yep, another four, yep. No one leaves comments, so you can't tell. They just go, 3.75, 2, 2.1. Well, leave a comment so we know why that you're saying. Like giving it a crappy score. Watching kittens frolicking on this night summer night. That's got even nothing to do with beer. What's, what's kittens got to do with it? Three, oh, I've just hit the 3.75 crew. Which, yeah, that's probably, yeah. Deeper than you'd probably expect with an aristocratic flavour. What would you know about aristocrats? I don't even know what it means. Yeah. Da, da, da. And he gave it a crap, crap score. Gee, some people are harsh. Maybe I'm too, uh, too, uh, like, kind to a lot of things, but no. I don't think so. I think if something tastes good, it deserves a good score. But uh, most people are just, oh, oh, somebody's given it a five. Must be someone that really loves it. <laughs> but most people don't even say. I, I think it's a really nice beer. And I've hit the 4.75 as now, and I'm giving it a 4.25. I think it's a really tasty beer, and I'll tell you what, I've been drinking so much crap lately. It's finally so nice to have a really nice tasting beer. One that really suits the climate here. R one that really suits Australia. And uh, this is a really cracking beer and I, I really like it. So there you go, the Pilsen Urkel. Really worth giving a go if you uh, want to try just something a little bit different and well, a bit of an Eastern Bloc European. So they know how to do this stuff and it's a 170 something year old recipe and well, if something is that good and it's been around for that long, mate, it's worth giving a go. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks to, who was it? Chris? Oh God. Nicholas. Thanks Nicholas uh, for your beer fund donations. And uh, if you want to see more of these videos, remember subscribe for more. La da da dee dee. Uh, do some twirls in the swimming pool. And uh, put your undies on the right way. And we'll see you again next time. Oh, yeah. Drink a beer. <laughs> Cheers.